Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. And as I say in the beginning of pretty much all my videos, um, if you're going to watch my channel, you have to deal with um, informalities, crazy family life, and um, not really high tech. And but I wanted to inspire myself, cultivate, grow myself. And women and mothers, especially in the Western world, and um, I say all mothers, but especially mothers in the Western world who tend to be very isolated and are very business-oriented and isolationist culture, and um, and to and to be inspired to do your your soulful work. In combination with your social, your your soulful central work, that is your family and your children. And so, I started this channel, and as you can see, a lot of my videos are very informal, and I have to pause a lot, and sometimes it's kind of noisy. A lot of kids, but um, here I am sharing my life, or no, a tiny window into my life with you all in my heart and soul. So that's my introduction, and thanks for watching. So, um, I'm just going to do, a, I think, a pretty short video, although I never know how long these videos are going to be sometimes. But, um, well, I may need to close that door. Hang on. Okay, thanks for waiting. Um, and I wanted to just sort of, um, just, just share a little bit today uh, about just my process. And I've been blogging and doing videos here and there online for about eight years and I learned a lot about internet culture and and um, how much the ego and the intellect uh, of human beings um, plays into internet culture because after all you don't have to deal with you don't have to deal with human beings physically so people feel Let's just say a lot of good comes to the internet, but a whole lot of bad does too because people just feel safe being assholes on the internet and the internet's a very fickle, fickle place. Um, a lot of people's fickleness comes out on the internet. Um, it's an incredible, incredible tool. Um, I am so grateful for it. But I've been developing myself as well, a human being, a woman, a mother, a wife, um, and uh, for the last eight years, well, I entered wifehood and womanhood, uh, wifehood and, and um, motherhood um, just a few years ago, and but... In developing myself, I've also been developing myself on the internet, and just, I guess, who I am on the internet, and I wanted to share a little bit that um, it's, taken a, it's taken a while to cultivate it to uh, really know how to channel it, I guess, in the most healthy way, and the most constructive, soulfully constructive and intuitive way for me and for the people who are listening and and who watch and read my, my things. And I guess the number one thing about, I've discovered about my material online is that it takes people, including myself, who I guess, I guess will give a damn about processing and using the higher consciousness, their higher consciousness, their soulful consciousness, their intuitive consciousness to process and to think about. And if you, you know, there are many ways to pray. So I don't, when I say pray, I don't mean necessarily kneeling at an altar with your hands folded and your eyes closed, but pray about it, reflect on, on what I'm saying and, and um, that includes myself too. You know, it's it's really been a place of growth and self discovery, and um, as well as people discovery and 
really seeing the murky, murky underbelly belly of of huma humanity just sort of blasted and vomited out on the internet, and um, really having to process my own, you know, on the inside and being able to, to, to after the last eight years, finally being able to sort of channel properly and how and grow what I want, you know, as an image on the internet. So there's 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 a the number one, this ability to process, this ability to listen and and read what I'm saying with a higher consciousness and and to process it and not just this like immediate like back and forth, you know, ego centered, intellectual centered um, emotional, like really emotional centered realm and like the ego, the ego and the intellect and the emotions all have to be channeled through a more intuitive place. Secondly, um, I don't, who I am on the internet is not different who I, of who I am in, in, in real life. It's just, it's only a window into who I am. In real life it's not who I am and I've met or completely who I am and I've met so many bloggers and people who become you know and, and then I had to go through this process myself of seeing that sort of task in front of me to overcome that you're not it's not that's not you that's not completely you it's a piece of you it's a window of you that you are sharing with the world it's an extension of your soul work, hopefully, to the world. And um, it could be lighter, it could be more profound, it could be whatever, but it's, it really, it's not your identity. And so many people, so many people who I think, I think started out with really high, good higher self intentions, they get thousands of followers, even millions of followers, and then all of a sudden their identity becomes what they are on the internet. And, um, so just sort of channeling properly and streamlining how I want people to communicate with me through the internet and sort of what I, um, I've always been, I've always been really intuitive about what I put on the internet. Um, you know, everything that I put on the internet hasn't been necessarily my full you know, maturest look on something, but, or whole, I guess, wholest, you know, look on something, but, but I've always been tried, I've always tried to be intuitive about what I put on the internet and, 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 and feel out what I, what I should say. And sometimes I was posting a lot and sometimes I, sometimes I went a whole year without doing a lot on certain, um, certain, um, media realms and um yeah so that's the second really really I guess really fundamental thing is that who I am on the internet is who I am it's just not all of who I am you know it's an extension of who I am it's a piece of who I am and um the third thing really is kind of runs into that is that um in all areas of my life, you know, I've come to grow and see that respect and unconditional regard for human beings, you know, regardless of viewpoints, cultural differences, religious differences, is really number one. And um, I'm going to put in the description... Um, I guess my, my, my video on why disabled comments on my YouTube and then also a, a, a video I did called the sacred art of tolerance and just, um, people's identity becomes so like sucked into what they're writing on their internet or their activism or their liberalism or their like religiosity or whatever. And I think it's really important to remember when you're doing your work that you are first and foremost a soulful being, you know, and 
Um, you are not your intellect. Your intellect is a tool. You are not your ego. Your ego is that that pull or challenge within us that pushes us to to into trouble and pushes us to also come away from it. You know, to to grow, to mature, to see ourselves clearly. You know, and um, and and that's really, I guess. Those three things are really fundamental in my work on the internet. And I guess my work in general, but I'm sort of specifically talking about who I am on the internet and in my work on the internet. Because I think it's just an incredible tool. I think it's an incredible thing, phenomenon, and discovery that's happened on the planet, you know, and um, used for such, such terrible things. I think most of the time, I think the things that are glowing that really that really make an imprint and have power are very few and far between but they're so powerful that when you see them you know they really make an impression on you if that's what you're looking for um among all this like verbal emotional vomit you know on the internet and so yeah so when you watch my videos, you gotta be someone who can process because that's who I've worked worked on being, you know, and someone who can process, someone who can have unconditional regard and respect for other people regardless of, of anything, regardless of disagreements. It could be very diametrically opposite beliefs and disagreements. It could be things I really don't feel good about necessarily in someone's life or, you know, but, or vice versa, you know, but it, the people are few, the people in the world are few and far between who can process, who can have an unconditional regard for each other, find that place where we have peace with each other, you know, that we know each other on an intuitive level and, and, um, so I don't like my videos and I don't like, unless I really feel like it's, I'm called to do that or there's a time to do that. You know, I don't, I don't like a lot of clutter, you know, I don't like a lot of commentary and clutter and so much of it is just so unhelpful, you know, and there's really only a very few places now that I, I do that and, um, every once in a while I'll really have a lot of posting and a lot of discussion and and leave people's verbal vomit up there just so people can see the state of humanity you know like the state of ourselves and how out of control we are and maybe just maybe we can like get a grip on ourselves and um so that's my message for today and um and i i really wish you you know, maturity, peace, courage, well-being, you know, to be silent, quiet, intuitive when you're supposed to be, if the intuition in, intuition calls for it, be ferocious, you know, um, be ferocious, um, defend, defend not necessarily your opinions, stop being so focused on defending your opinions and more focus on defending what is what is universally right which which doesn't isn't based on beliefs necessarily it's based on unconditional regard for other people and respect for other people so and yourself first and foremost yourself if you can't have respect for yourself you can't have respect for other people you cannot have respect for other people so anyway Thanks for watching and God bless.